Hi, I'm Belinda and I want to show you how to make a reduction lino cut. I used four colors on this one and I used a registration jig that I'll also go over in this video that is just made out of simple cardboard. This was not printed on a press. This was printed using three simple straightforward methods, either using a wooden spoon, using a wooden egg, or using a metal spoon. The linoleum is just simple unmounted linoleum. It was carved and printed on top of the same sheet of paper in different colors four times to create this print. So let's give it a go. Start with a pretty simple design. Sketch flat shapes that include a foreground, middle ground, and background. Sand the linoleum with some fine sandpaper before you start. Draw your design on the linoleum with a fine sharpie and then fill in your darkest darks with a fat sharpie. Inks are printed lightest first, darkest last. So the dark tree shape will be the last thing I print and these light areas that I'm putting in will be the first thing I carve out. I'm using Minwax to seal the plate and seal my drawing in place. It'll also smooth out any imperfections in the plate and make my carving easier to see. While the plate dries overnight, gather the rest of your inking and carving supplies. With a bench hook to stabilize your plate and your sketch close by, begin by carving out just the white areas that you laid out with the ink. The first color should be very light and somewhat transparent. I used Akua Transparent Base and Magmix mixed 50-50 with one drop of phthalo blue. The plate measures 4x4 four four and the paper measures 8x8. Eight eight. I cut a 10x10 10 10 piece of scrap cardboard. I taped an L-shape layer to hold the paper and cut a square out for the block. I taped an extra piece of paper on the bottom side to act as a floor for the block to land on. The block fits neatly into the square face up. For the first color, I'm going to lightly spritz and blot the paper to soften it just a bit. The paper is laid damp side down, tucked against the raised curb of cardboard on the registration jig. Hold the paper in place with one hand and rub the back of the paper against the inked plate with the other using either a wooden spoon, a metal spoon, a round object like the wooden egg I have here or this speedball Teflon coated Baron. I repeated this process 18 times for the first color and all 18 prints were dry by the time I was finished cleaning the plate and picking up the leftover ink. There are always mistakes with reduction prints so you print more than you'll need. You can save your ink for another project. It's helpful to label your containers with the recipe you use to get that color in case you decide you'd like to use it again. I'm referring to my notes and a piece of tracing paper to remember that I'm just carving out the sky. The next color will be a very transparent ochre. The blue sky will remain blue. Everything else will look like a soft sage green because the ochre is being affected by the blue that's underneath it. Each time you carve, you're preserving the color you just printed. So now I'm carving some shapes out of the meadow and printing with a transparent warm brown. This third darker color will coat everything except a little patch in front of the tree and some bits around the rabbits. For the last color, I'm changing the gouge on the knife to be a little bit broader because I'll be removing everything in the meadow except the dark rabbit. It may be helpful to visualize this process if you use colored pencil on tracing paper for each of the colors that you plan to print. Stack them lightest on the bottom, darkest on the top to see how your design looks through the tracing paper. I find that the darkest color has a lot of impact on the final composition. The first two colors I mixed didn't work and I had to throw those two prints away. In the end, I got 12 good prints from the 18 that I printed, so always pad your expectations with a couple throwaways. So that's how you make a four color reduction linoleum block print. This edition took two days to print. So in the video, it's all high speed, and if any part of it is unclear, don't be afraid to leave questions or comments uh, down below in the comment section. I also put a list of supplies and links to those supplies. So uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.